Hey Power Diary friends, Danielle here. So I come to you today to talk about something that is super important to our US customers, the super bill. That's right, we now have this functionality within the Power Diary platform and I'm super excited to walk you through it today. To accompany this video, I've got a great help article that walks you through all the things that you need to add to your account so that you can properly generate a super bill. Everything from adding the licensing information to your practitioners, to setting up insurance so that you can add it to your client's profile, to creating services with the appropriate CPT codes that will tie back to the treatment of the patient's diagnosis, and then adding the diagnosis to the patient's account with the appropriate ICD-10 code. And then last but not least, I will show you how now to generate a super bill. So to do this, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna walk you through a few of the setup features, but I'm not gonna walk through them all, so please reference that article. It's all really easy. I can do it, I know you guys all can too. So let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, so I've already generated a super bill, but I wanna show you some of the setup stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead to do is go to services. Now over here, I've gone ahead and created a service tied back to a specific CPT code. In this case, the psychological monitoring treatment, this is the code that is associated with it, and this is the description of that treatment. And then I've gone ahead and put a cost. I've, you know, if you want to increase the price, whatever you want to do, again, you add it all here and you save. All right. Now I've gone to go ahead and I'm going to go down to my clients. And we are looking at Bob's account today. We're going to go ahead and go to billing because now I want to go ahead and give him his diagnosis on his account. So you go billing, you go billing setup, and right here in the extra invoice info, this is where you're gonna put that ID ICD-10 code. And this is the code for his treatment. Now this will display on his invoice. Now additionally, you can go ahead and do this for insurance. And we wanna, so it's already on here. It will display, we're gonna set that as our default for him. And we're gonna update all his future and past invoices. And that is all good. Now let's go ahead and let's generate that super bill. So you go down here to statement super bill. You go new statement super bill and you select a time period to which you want that super bill to be generated. Now, as you saw when I was on my other screen, I had some super bills already generated. So any super bill that you generate is always going to display there. So if you wanna look months back, you can go ahead and do that. And you're gonna show invoice and payments, and voila, these are all the treat services that he has received from us. I'm gonna scroll all the way down, I'm gonna go create statement. And here it is. So you go simply here, you go print, and now we're gonna see um, a PDF of that. As you can see, we got the insurance information, we've got what his diagnosis is, we have all of the appropriate licensing information for our provider, you've got the p billing period or the period of time that it happened with, and all of the treatments. So fantastic, with the appropriate code, with the appropriate description, all there, you can download it, or you can then go ahead and email it. Now, my only thing is for you guys, please remember when you're emailing your clients, you wanna make sure that you are sending it to your client and not to somebody else. Because remember, with HIPAA and all the compliance issues, you should be very careful. I would probably suggest downloading it and printing it and handing it to the client themselves but that is up to you. Just be very understanding and aware of when you're sending your emails. And guys, that is it. Like I said, it is super easy. Please reference back to that help article. If you need help setting up all those other things, everything from insurance to the services to making sure you've got the practitioner's information correctly on their profile. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.